Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. On the last episode, we established our confidant with Futaba. It took a lot of time, but I think she's finally starting to open up to us. And on this episode, we need to get ready for school tomorrow. <sighs> All good things must come to an end. Summer vacation included. Sushi, I feel like I might dream about it tonight. Good night, Morgana. Things are escalating quickly. And I have a feeling that Igor wants to check in on us. Uh, speak of the devil and he shall appear! Listen up, inmate. Our master wants a word with you. Yeah, I expected as much. Hey, Igor, my man! How's it going? <laughs> it seems you formed a contract with another new ally. This is the owner of quite a different type of power. It will help guide you all to further heights as thieves. So, what now? <laughs> Worry not. You are steadily approaching the realization of your goal. This is not necessarily to prove so. But I shall increase the number of personas you can hold at once. From here on, your tale will make great progress. Hone your powers even further, and prepare for the time that will soon come. What time? I expect great things from you. <laughs> Just wanted to check in on me, eh? At least we can hold up to 12 personas, so that's pretty cool. All right. And that'll help us out a lot in the long run. Until we meet again. See you later. It is time, inmate. Return to your world. Right. Ah, <sighs> school. Oh man. At least we got the team meeting to look forward to. Morning. Morning. Ooh, the uniform. Yeah, I mean, that's what, it's what you wear when you go to school. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. You don't. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean. Yeah, school does resume today. Make sure you study hard. Yes, Mom. Utaba says she's going to shift to living a morning person's life. A healthy mission starts with a healthy lifestyle. Mission. And on to breaking news. In regard to the so-called Phantom Thieves events that have been a hot topic among the general public. Prime Minister held a press conference at his official residence to address the problem. The government acknowledges the current rumors of the group called the Phantom Thieves. We are currently confirming facts with the police and wish to deal with it in an appropriate... Even the Prime Minister's talking about the Phantom Thieves? They're allies of justice, after all. They change hearts, huh? I wonder if it's true. <laughs> Who knows, Sojiro? Maybe they can even melt that icy heart of yours. Hmm. Looks like we're finally being recognized across the country. Well, let's just stay calm. Even though you have ambitions, you remain cool, hmm? I bet you stole that from me. Heh, <laughs> you wish. Let's find clues on that case as soon as we can, too. And resolve it ourselves. For Futaba's sake, too. Right. You two really get along, don't you? What, me and Futaba, or me and the cat? You're gonna be late if you don't get going soon. Oh crap, you're right! Good luck on your student duties. I wonder if I could do that anime trope with toast in my mouth. I know it's usually a girl that does it. 
but it might make a nice change of pace if I do it instead. The age group with the most belief in the Phantom Thief seems to be teenagers. We've even received messages about how the Phantom Thieves are all students talk about these days. Um, do you know about them? Hmm, they're the only thing my daughter speaks to me about. She's been glued to this fan site thing. I thought it was just an ordinary website. Uh, lately, they've added a polling feature to ask who you'd like to see have a change of heart. Given people's heightened expectations, it's been receiving a lot of votes. Mm, huh. Maybe I could go vote for our company president. Change his heart so he'll raise our salaries. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you wish, buddy. We only change evil people's hearts. Oh, it's all over. I can't believe school is starting again. Not like I did anything during summer break. I only stayed in and played online games. Hey man, that is doing something. You know. As long as you think it's worth it, then people will understand. Oh. It's hitting a little bit too close to home. The Phantom Thieves are great! Nothing you could have done this summer would have topped the Phantom Thieves. Hacking Medjet back and all the other stuff. It was totally nuts! Everyone online was waiting for the deadline to hit. People sure do love the Phantom Thieves. Speaking of, have you checked out the fan site recently? They added a bunch of new stuff, including the option to rank people to get a change of heart. <sighs> Mishima sure is doing God's work, eh? Well. Second term's already started. I think this every year, but isn't summer vacation too short? <sighs> I mean, we were busy. I guess it depends on how you look at it. We kind of got to visit Egypt in a way. Yeah, we went to the beach. Tried to see some fireworks. Was was that during summer? I honest to god can't remember. <clears throat> Alright, let's begin homeroom. Kawakami, it's been so long! Let's see. We've just gotten back from vacation, but starting next Monday is the school trip. Oh yeah, that's right. <sighs> you students are so lucky. Get an entire month off for summer and get to go to Hawaii too. Make sure that none of you cut loose too much, okay? Okay, settle down. That concludes homeroom. Wait, we're going to Hawaii? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get a floral necklace. I'm gonna have to get some really tacky shirts. Oh, this is gonna be great. You can speak English, right? Basically, yeah. That's amazing. It still gets me. I know I have to suspend my disbelief, but it still gets me. Are you girls even listening to yourselves? I lived over there, so it's nothing that special. Hey, if there's something we're not sure of in English, can we ask you about it? Huh? What the? Oh, people talking about in my glasses, the Phantom Thieves. Is it the same for you? Talk about being popular. Anyways, now's the new semester started. Let's have another operation meeting. Time to get the gang together. Did you see the forum? They added a new feature. Rankings, huh? Sounds interesting. All you do is vote. Isn't that kind of pointless? You never know. They might be looking at it. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will steal their hearts. I wonder if there's anyone that stands out. There you guys are. Hey, I guess you know about the regular spot. 
you come here by yourself? I went to get her since I got out of school early. What a patronizing Inari. Well then, let's get talking. What do we do now? Should we go after another big target? That's important too, but what about that villain in the cognitive world? It's almost certain that this person exists. <sighs> I mean, I'm concerned about him the most, in all honesty. What's more, they're inducing mental shutdowns. We certainly can't turn a blind eye. <sighs> yeah, but we don't got any clues. But, you know how we're toads popular right now? Everyone at school's talking about us, and not a day goes by when you don't hear about it on TV either. We totally made it big, don't you think? True. Y yeah, you're right. The rankings on the Phantom Aficionado website have been crazy too. You mean this? Huh? What the hell? First place keeps changing by the second. People are voting around the clock, after all. If we go after these guys, I'm sure we'll score some big cash at least once. What would you use money like that for? What? Me? Um... Uh, I mean... I'll put it... I, I don't know, man! You put me on the spot like this? I mean, I'm already thinking about it. Acting all stoic like that ain't cool, you know. Are you fine with that, Futaba? Even though it's related to what happened to your mother. It's not okay. I'm definitely gonna punch that guy. The culprit forcing mental shutdowns. If you think about it, there's no bigger target than that. If we can change his heart and get a confession out of him, we'll be on top of the world for real. Should we reveal our identities then? Oh, I bet chicks are gonna be all over us. No, no dude, come on, you're letting it go to your head again. Show our faces? I guess that might be okay. What? No! No! Not yet! I see. If the true culprit confesses, the existence of the metaverse will become known. There would be no need for us to remain in hiding in such a questionable manner. I mean, I guess that's true, but come on, guys, I'm not cool. I'm not comfortable with this. Hey, we're not doing this to stand out, you know. Being unknown is the allure of being a phantom thief. But considering the hype now, it's gonna be one hell of a huge deal if we pull it off. Are there really no clues regarding those mental shutdown cases? If I remember right, wasn't the older Nijima sister investigating it? Yes, I can pry and ask about it. But she'll just tell me to mind my own business and get angry with me. If you can't ask her, want to just extract that data? Does she have a personal laptop or something? Don't tell me. I can lend you a storage device with my special gimmick on it. Just stick this baby in and it'll clone the internal hard drive. It'll even bypass the OS password. You'll have to plug it directly into her laptop, though. Can you do it? This does bring her laptop home sometimes. I mean, if you're not comfortable with it, we can try and find another way. But I'm not comfortable going that far. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Ooh, is Futaba going to do something amazing again? Are you scared of seeing how your sister truly feels? No! Of course not. Fine. I'll do it. I feel like we just peer pressured her. What? I was in a tabloid magazine? But I gave a gag order in regard to Mr. Kamashita's case. Please, wait! Please give me some time! I will find evidence on the Phantom Thieves for sure! I couldn't have made it this far had it not been for your assistance, sir. So, please, please let me. Uh, 
No! No! <sighs> Summer's over, over already, huh? <laughs> Went by all too fast. Still, another six months ahead of you. <laughs> Keep yourself in check, okay? You know me, old man. At least, I hope you do by now. These rankings are insane! Yes, if you look away for even a single moment, the order changes completely. It's hard to decide who to actually go after. They're flooding in. We can choose anyone we want. We should wait for now, though. It will surely cool off soon. More importantly, how are things on your end, Makoto? Sis isn't home yet. She may not come back at all tonight. Man, just think how great it'd be to narrow down our targets. That's true, but... Aren't you guys taking this too lightly? All the pressure here rests on me. I don't like either of these answers. Um... Oh, this will just pressure her more, but... I still don't feel good about the top answer. Oh, come on. I am counting on you, though. Even you, you say? I suppose I'll do it. Oh, now I just feel bad. Let's leave this to Makoto. I'm sure she'll be able to pull it off. Oh, I don't feel good. Anyway, we still have time to do stuff tonight, so... Before we head on over to the social link of the night, I'm actually going to go over to the Velvet Room and do some reshifting, so... I'll be back in a second. Alright, now that I've done my business... Hello there, my favorite reporter. It has been a while. Hey. So you came. Phantom Thieves Believer. I wonder what's next now that Medjed case is over. But, now, nah, how the heck would you know, right? Right? Can I talk to you about K.O. for a bit? Um, yeah, of course. Okay. Okay, uh, sit down. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections who knew where K.O. was would, are gone, thanks to the chief and my publisher. Well, say something! You seem... very... tired. <laughs> you can tell? Well, I guess it's pretty obvious. <sighs> Pulling these consecutive all-nighters is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Shit. Of course! They'll fire me if I show any signs of weakness. The Chief really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> He's like some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see whether I can find K.O. before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you do something about the Chief before you keep chasing K.O. Chan's case? There's nothing I can do about, can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. And despite how he acts, the higher-ups like him. I have no one to go to. It's over. Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. But at this rate, you won't be able to continue your investigation. What do you think, kid? Oh, you're going to get crushed under the weight of a quota if the situation doesn't change. I need to do something about the chief and helper. Ugh, I'm gonna die. So, uh, tell me more about this guy. Why? You gonna try find his weakness? His name is Shinpei Honjo. I heard he's quite a good husband, and he used to cover economic foreign policy. Ugh. I hope it's just me overthinking things, but he's seen your face, you know. Don't go trying anything heroic. She's saying this for your own good, got it, kid? I wonder where Ko is. Sorry, but I don't feel like getting any info from you today. Sorry. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you for around. You need to free Oya from her chief's oppressive demands. 
Another request added to the list. Thankfully, we'll be going into Memento soon, so I'll be able to do all of them at once. Oh boy, we do a big job ahead of us. Good morning. Uh, oh, hey Akechi, you feeling better now? Huh? Did you get a tan? You seem different. Oh yes, thank you for the coffee last time. It's a lovely cafe. I hadn't relaxed that much in a while. You should come again. Thank you. I promise it won't be as awkward next time. That's nice of you to say. Especially lately, since it seems I'm hated by those who support the Phantom Thieves. Anyhow, it seems your school's in trouble. The media is reporting that the whole school was involved in the cover-up with, with that gym teacher. Those unfortunate students were made victims all because adults valued their own conveniences. This is unforgivable, no matter the reason. Let me know if you need anything. I'll do my best to so that the case is wrapped up quickly. That's actually genuinely nice of you, Akechi. Um, thanks. Hey. Those are Shujin students, right? I read an article about Shujin in a magazine. High school horrors, a school-wide cover-up. It seems the administration turned a blind eye so that the to the abusive teacher. It's so hard to believe. The principal claimed he didn't know what was going on at first. We're talking about children's lives. People like him are the ones who should answer for this. I don't like the way they're looking at us. Well, it's not our fault that people are corrupt. Put up. Oh, hey. Uh, nope. What ad? The media is gonna come to our school. At least be a little interested in it. Uh, dude, do you know the reason why they're coming to our school? I don't think you do. Cover up by faculty and principal of Shujin Academy, where the Phantom Thieves first appeared. Oh, that's why you're so excited. Okay, now it makes sense. It's been a huge deal already. I wonder what's gonna happen to the principal now. Anyways, we made the right choice going after big targets. Everywhere I go, people are talking about us. Oh my god, dude, shut up! <gasps> Whoa! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm fine. That girl just now, don't you think she was fine? Uh, y yeah, I mean, I guess she was. Not, you know, my type, but... Hey, uh, all the more power to you, man. She, she wasn't wearing a uniform. The Phantom Thieves are on fire right now, so I wonder if I got a chance if I asked her out? It sucks that I can't just say I'm actually a Phantom Thief to anybody. Oh my god, dude. Look, you're a good friend. You're there for me most of the time. But you need to keep your excitement in check. I'm telling you this as someone who really knows that problem. It is true, though. I cannot keep my excitement in check a lot of the time. Did you do it too, Teach? The whole cover-up thing? This is the first time I'm hearing about it, too. Even if the police ask you anything, you better not make irresponsible comments to them. Seriously, why does this keep happening? All my relatives are gonna call me again. Oh, perfect timing. I think you might have been told this already, but it's about the school trip. You know how the police have been coming to the school again because of that incident? So, a number of the senior faculty are going to be called in for questioning. And that day just happens to overlap with the school trip. Yes, I've been told so. Now this came up at the faculty meeting, but the plan is to have third years to act as our proxies. I'm so sorry to drop this on you, Nijima-san, but we'll be counting on you. What? 
know, a lot of the second years this year happen to be unique. You must have your hands full with the entrance exams, but I'm sure you'll be fine with your grades. Don't worry. There'll be a couple more people going besides you. If that's the case, very well. Really? Oh, thank goodness. I'll go ahead and pass this news on then. I guess that works out. You guys see? Akechi showed up in the rankings! Perhaps it's due to the negative comments he made about us. Seems that way. God, this is freaking amazing! Dude, I mean, I feel kinda bad. Oh, come on, you don't gotta pity a jerk like him! By the way, how's it going, Makoto? You get into your sister's data yet? I think she's been busy. She didn't come home at all yesterday. Mm, that's problematic. What are we gonna do? We can't do a damn thing till we get that. Don't rush me! I assure you I can handle this. More importantly, everyone at school has been on edge since that ta tabloid article. Please be careful not to stand out, okay? <laughs> you don't gotta tell me twice. Uh, yes, yes we do, Ryuji. I'm gonna have to babysit you. Well, then. Aren't people saying the press might show up? Let's keep an even lower profile than usual. You're not the- I'm not the one that you need to be telling that to, Cat. Anyway, there's a few things that we need to do today which are a little bit different. So, first of all... I need to go to the back, back streets because... We need to go to Yonganyaya, second hand shop, and buy a broken laptop. <coughs> Let's see, it should be here. Here it is, 500 yen. I'll be taking that, thank you sir. And then the second thing that we need to do is go over to Akihabara. to get um, some old machine parts. But also this will be good, uh, a um, good chance just to check around the, stri um, the city because it's our first time here. Or at least, you know, first time actually being able to walk around. What is this, a monster? A capsule vending machine. Oh, so you get these guys with 500 yen. Why don't you try testing out your luck? Ah, let's do it. It's only 500 yen. Capsule came out. It's a debt Dakarabia. This capsule says it's uncommon. It's not a big win, but it's no huge loss either. Uh, I just don't get it. Why do people want these? We're in Akihabara, right? Maybe we can find someone here that may want these capsule toys. Hmm, maybe. I'll keep that in mind. Um, I don't even know what stores are here. We've got the Electronics Superstore. Um, what do you sell here? Okay, yeah, just a bunch of stuff like presents and that, which we haven't had to use yet. But once again, I can use my vending machine money powers in order to take all of their drinks. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Made cafes. Oh, Akihabara. Never change. Man, I went to a made cafe. Boy, that was a weird experience. Not entirely sure if I would ever do it again. But I would definitely go to the Gundam Cafe. God, it's so small compared to the place that I was going through. Although, it does actually look kind of familiar. I wonder if they modeled this off of a actual place. <laughs> Maybe I'm just imagining it. Oh wow, this is super real though. The maid cafe that is upstairs and has a stairway leading to it. That is definitely a thing. 
and it's so cool. I, I mentioned it before, but I'm going to say it again. This game has such great attention to detail. Like, all that time they spent trying to get all of the detail right was completely worth it. There's actually another game that um, this uh, Akihabara reminds me of particularly, and that is um, Akiba Strip, which is one of the most accurate representations of a um, place, out of a of a real-life location I've ever seen in a video game. It was so... It was almost one-to-one. -one. I don't think it was quite one-to-one, -one, but... No it was definitely very accurate, and they also got a load of real-life stores, which was super cool. And I on the only reason I went into the Velvet Room was to see if I could, you know... Get uh, the location unlocked, but... I guess not. Okay, uh, I think this is the place we need to... Yeah, that's the machine parts store, but what is up here? Retro Game Shop. I'm just gonna pop in here for a second. Welcome! Hey man, you look very young. You interested in games from the past? Punch Out! And Train of Life. Yes, please. Thank you so much! And yes, I will enjoy playing them. Okay, I'm not falling around. Let's actually get the parts that we need. PC tool set. That should help us with the broken laptop. And then with this last vending machine. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Now we can leave. But guys, I think I'm going to end off the episode right here. So, on the next time, next time, well, uh, next time I'll actually get my sentences right. No, I won't. Um, next time on Let's Play Persona 5, we'll head on over to the Airsoft shop, and we'll hang out with a Y. See you guys then.